Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing a quick little bit of bookish would you rather. So this is basically Pinch from Cam from Wolfshot Publishing. I'll link to his original video below. And basically I said like, hey this looks fun, can I do it? And he said sort of sure, why not? So now I'm going to steal some of his footage to ask myself the questions. Uh, I guess, I guess, should I, should I tag some people? I'll tag some people at the end as well. Uh, but without further ado, over to Cam for the first question. Question... Number one, would you rather spend exactly one year traveling abroad in either Middle Earth, Neverland from the book Peter Pan, Wonderland from the book Alice in Wonderland, The Chocolate Factory from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, or Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry? And before you jump to Hogwarts, let me tell you this, you are not a wizard, you're just spending a year traveling abroad and you get to spend a year in Hogwarts, you get to attend the classes, watch what they do, hang out with the students, but you don't get to do magic. You are simply a muggle exchange student. Which do you choose? Oh, well, I think Wonderland, a year in it would start to feel like hell. I haven't actually read it, but there's the uh, graphic novel series, I Hate Fairyland, and I feel like that's what would happen in Wonderland. Uh, what else have we got? The Chocolate Factory. I mean, I'm not a big fan of chocolate, plus I'm vegan, so I can't eat it unless it's like pure chocolate. I mean, I guess I could convert... I could spend the year converting Willy Wonka into a vegan and getting him to make loads of really nice dairy-free chocolate, I guess. And, like, have rivers of almond milk and stuff. Uh, what else we got? Neverland. I don't know. I think there are too many children there, obviously. Middle Earth. Or Hogwarts, but you're a muggle. Well, if you were a muggle in Hogwarts, you'd end up being like Argus Filch or something. You'd, it would be terrible. You'd just be used for, like, manual labour jobs and stuff. Well, actually, you wouldn't even do that. They can do, use magic to do that. You'd have no purpose, really. So I'm going to go for Middle Earth. Um, but I would probably just want to chill in, in Rivendell, to be honest. Would you rather be able to remember the last 100 books that you've read at any time, word for word, picture-perfect memory? You remember every single little detail of the last 100 books that you've read at any time. But you can only read word by word. The words only present themselves to you on the page very slowly, at about this speed. The cat ran up the tree. You're capable of reading more, but the words don't actually show themselves to you until they're ready, and that happens to be very, very slow. I can imagine that would be extremely frustrating. Like, yeah, you can remember the last 100 books detail for detail, but imagine actually trying to read an entire book at that pace. Would you rather that, or would you rather only remember the last 10 books that you've read vividly, but you can read them instantaneously just by opening the book. Done. You can read books just like that, but you can only remember the last 10 books vividly. You can remember the other books that you've read, but it's really, really blurry. I mean, I think I already do only remember 10 books and read books in one second. <laughs> I, I'm not far off it. I think the only thing would be, would be that I'd have to film like wrap ups, 10 books at a time and stuff. But I, I don't know, I think I could live with that. Because then also you could reread your favourite books over and over again. Like, I could read, you know, Northern Lights by Philip Pullman for my 11th book each time. So I forget it. And then just as I've forget it, forgotten it, I reread it and re-experience it for the first time. So actually I think the advantages of only remembering 10 books are, out, are like the fact that you can re-experience them each time. So... I think I'd do that. I think the benefits outweigh the negatives there. Although you wouldn't get to be book smart, I guess. Would you rather all of your favorite books, all of the books that you've enjoyed thoroughly, all of the books that you've been hyped about, they're all erased from ex existence. You remember that they've made you feel awesome, but you can't remember anything that happened, anything about the books you can't remember, and there's no way to remind yourself of that. There's no way to check on them because they never existed. All that remains of all of your most favorite reads ever is the feeling that they gave you. Or, you remember all of the books that you've thoroughly enjoyed in the past, all of your favorite reads, you remember them perfectly, but every book you read from now on, you're only meh about. You're never able to enjoy a book that fully ever again. Probably never thoroughly enjoy another book ever again. I mean, what what does thoroughly enjoying a book even mean? Is that when you give it like a, just a or like just a full five stars? Like there have been books that I've read that are great, but they've got flaws in. I think even ones where I've rated them five stars, I'm I'm like objectively able to find flaws in them. It's just my subjective love of them kind of outweighs that. 
so I guess I'll go for never thoroughly enjoy another book ever again because thoroughly is there's there's wiggle room there. It might mean that I thought it was great, but there was a typo and it slightly hampered my enjoyment. You know. Would you rather be on the run from either Arya Stark from Game of Thrones or Mia Corvere from Nevernight? One of these assassins is hunting you down and they won't stop until they've got you, but you get to choose one fictional character as well. Obviously within reason, you can't choose like a god from a book or something like that. It has to be someone within reason, either a human or a creature whose abilities are at least comparable to Mia and Arya Stark. So I haven't read whatever the book that Mia Corvair is in, so I don't know, <laughs> but I don't know. I think I'd rather run from her I mean, Cam said in his book, the thing with Arya is that is the fact that she can wear anybody's face, so you're kind of screwed. Although, if you were running from her, I'd probably get um, Jock and Dahara, or whatever his name is, to to be the person who protected me, because he taught us, so he should know all of the tricks, in theory. But I still wouldn't feel safe. So I guess instead, I'd be on the run from Mia Corvair, and that actually puts me at a disadvantage, because I don't know who she is. So I don't know what like skills to choose to protect me from her, but I guess one person to protect me from anyone, I would go for, uh... this probably is an odd choice, but I can't think of a better one off the top of my head. So I'm going to go for Wesley or the man in black from the Princess Bride, just because I think it's important if you're going to have someone who's got your back, you need to trust them. And I think you could trust him. He might also bring along some of his friends for the ride. Uh, which would be very handy, but also he's a, a good thinker and a good strategist as well. And plus, I think he's brave. He would he would face down wh whoever or whatever Mia Corvair is. Would you rather? Every time you're reading a book, every two pages that you turn, you get a paper cut, a really painful one. Or every time you're reading a, from a book, you have to yell out the words as you're reading them as loudly as you can. So that would pretty much rule out reading in public if you didn't want to look like a psychopath. I read a lot, so I think I'd have to yell the words loud and just soundproof my house or something because, I mean, I, I reckon I read about 150 pages a day, so that's 75 paper cuts a day, and I don't want 75 paper cuts a day, so <laughs> we're going to just shout it instead, and after a while I'd lose my voice anyway. Would you rather only be able to read books from now on until the day you die as an ebook on your phone? You can only use your phone to read books from now on, or only be able to listen to them as audiobooks. I would rather listen as an audiobook forever. That one's quite easy for me. I think also I could turn the speed up, so I think I'd be able to read faster and just my eyes hurt reading on a phone. I, I don't read ebooks for a reason. So uh, the, only, the only other part of this is if you have to pay for all of the audiobooks, it's quickly going to get very expensive. Uh, so then I think I would have to use ebooks. I don't think I'd have any choice. I'd actually, I would have to use ebooks because I wouldn't be able to afford, you know, to buy 20 audiobooks plus a month. It would, it would bankrupt me. So yeah, there we have it. That was my take on uh, Cam's bookish would you rather. And uh, thanks to Cam for unwillingly or unwittingly, should I say, or possibly both letting me use the footage of him. I'm going to tag a few people to do it, even though it's not really a tag, but it is now. And I also thought maybe we could all add our own would you rather at the end of it. So I guess actually I'll quickly do that now. Would you rather drop a hardback book on your face while you're lying in bed reading it and give yourself a black eye or drop it in the bath while you're reading it and ruin the book? Damn, that's some deep shit. <laughs> what would I rather do? I think I'd, ra I'd rather ruin the book. I'll just buy another book. Depending upon the book, of course, but yeah. I ain't got no time for, for that. And plus I'd have to like preface all any videos I film by saying, by the way, I have a black eye because I dropped a book on my face and I'd feel like an idiot. All right, so I'm gonna tag some people. I'm turning in this, this into a tag. Hope you don't mind, Cam. I've just totally stolen it and ran with it, I guess. And yeah, I'm gonna tag some people. Hopefully they'll do it. And also add questions of their own. Also tag other people. And we'll see what happens. So I'm gonna tag Todd the Librarian. Mindy's book journey, Jason's weird reads. I'm gonna tag, I'm gonna tag Beth Chat's books as well because she's recently come back and I think she's looking for some tags to do. No, you know what? That's it. I'm gonna just tag those people. I think if I just tag a few people, it's more of a personal tag than if I just tag like 15 people. So yeah, that was the bookish would you rather video that I stole from 
from Cam. Also, definitely check out Cam's channel and the original video below. And also, I'll link below as well. He's got a new store with bookish merch, and uh, I want to get my hands on some of it. In the meantime, though, I am wearing red trousers. There we go. <laughs> So on that note, as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree with my answers. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe for more, and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.